ลอเฮลโหลโอเคอันนี้จะเริ่มต้นฮัลโหลฉันเป็นคนที่ชอบอะไรนี่จะไม่เป็นอะไรมากเลยอืมโอเคอืมฉันจะไปฉันจะเริ่มต้นด้วยความคิดเห็นที่ฉันเริ่มต้นด้วยฉันเป็นคุณ And I'm gonna do some makeup. So I thought I would start with an easy-ish sort of thing. Um, the good old no makeup makeup kind of vibe. Um, yeah, which can be good for a lot of things. You know, I mean, if you don't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. But sometimes, you know, you just want your your face but better kind of thing. It can be good for tricking people, lying. Job in job interviews. Job interviews. It can be good for job interviews. You know, you want them to remember your face, so it just makes your features, you know, more pronounced. So yeah, here we go. First of all, you should probably start with a uh, skin prep. I'm not going anywhere, but I would normally prime my face, um, so I'm just not gonna bother. This is not gonna stay on for very long. So we're just gonna swiftly move on to brows. I am going to start off with the e.l.f. brow pencil in deep brown and I just use this to trace the outline of my brow. To go right into the front, I just kind of start from where my non-existent brows get slightly thicker, and then I just draw the outline because I'm going to use a powder to fill them in, so give that whole more hair-like effect. So there we go. <laughs> Whoa. I am going to take the collection eyebrow kit in brunette, and I use the. I open it first of all. The middle shade. Um, I don't use the brush that it comes with. I just use the good old eyebrow brush. It's always best to go for. A fully packed one, stiff but thin. We're just gonna swiftly move on. Now I'm gonna use that to fill in the rest of my brows, but I'm only gonna go, like I said, from where my brow sort of starts doing its thing to the end, and the sparse bit I'm gonna create a hair-like effect at the end. I'm gonna use a powder to fill in the bit at the top, and then using this, I'm just gonna create hair like strokes. Now I'm gonna try and blend that in with the rest of the brows. Create a somewhat ombre effect, and now we're just gonna do the same on the other side. Yeah, they're gonna need some cleaning up, but that is a okay. It's a process. It's a process. I'm just gonna use this spoolie at the end of the brow pencil to brush everything out and together. It's still kind of a little bit crazy, but it's alright. It's alright. Grab a concealer brush and said concealer, and I am going to clean up the perimeter of the brows. Okay. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I 
just caught a glimpse and she like a shake okay, I'm just gonna use the rest of the concealer to prime the eyes Judge me about the state of this. She's she's been through a bit. So it's like... Okay, and now we're gonna start on the eyes. So like I said, this is a no makeup makeup kind of look. So we're not going for anything too extravagant. I'm going to take a Real Techniques brush. I'm not exactly sure what this one's called, but it's a big buffing fluffy brush and that is exactly what we need for our transition shade which is what we're gonna do first so from my beauty creations olivia palette i am going to grab this shade right here and we are just gonna pop her right underneath the brow bone towards the crease sort of area Basically, you're just sweeping that back and forth until it's all blended and looks rather seamless. I say we, I'm, I'm talking about me, it's just me here. And then once you think that's blended out, you then start to move a little bit closer towards your crease. Crease? 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 <laughs> because then that will help you blend out the color that we are gonna put to define the crease. In there, just a little bit. Okay, we stand a good transition shade. Now I'm gonna go to my mini mascara aid palette by A Juvia's Place, and I'm gonna grab, I'm not actually sure what color this is. If I find out, I will let you know. Oh, I do know! Zulu! <laughs> Names are right there. It's been a long day. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm gonna grab Zulu and she is going to go in our crease. She's like a warm, chocolatey kind of. Oh, yeah. But like a dusty, deserty kind of. I'm, I'm just gonna do it now. Just start off by focusing it on the outer V because we're just trying to mm, define our eye shape and then we just buff it out a little bit so start off in there and down a little bit and then we sweep back and forth sweep back and forth and then I'm gonna go do the same on the other eye and then the angle you hold the brush is rather important because then what I like to do is instead of like pacing it this way and then put it flat and then sort of against what I've done to just start to blend it because then the cleanest side of the brush helps to blend everything out more evenly and also your product is then distributed a little bit higher so we get that color impact on a wider space on the little lid. <coughs> that was like a solid two out of ten. I think that looks pretty good so far. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab a brush that still has that transition shade and then just buff out the edges again just to make it just a little bit more seamless. Do I want to define this a little bit more? Yeah, I got one then, alright. <laughs> you convinced me. I'm going to grab this sort of pencil shape blending brush um, and I am going to use that to pop. I'm going to do a mixture of Birkner and this shade from my Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro Palette because mm, why the hell not? It's your life. Who's gonna, who's gonna tell you what to do? I'm gonna tap into Birkina first. And then twice, just twice, because it's actually quite a pigment color, but we don't. There we go. Ooh, I like that. And we're literally just popping that on the lowest 
bit right in your crease right in the pocket and the pencil shape should help you just get right in there I'm gonna just stop talking now and just do it all right cool see you later all right. since I've done this. I mean, I don't go anywhere because Corona is quarantine. So I really haven't done makeup in a really long time. Um, so yeah, this is, I feel like a newcomer again. But anyways, um, going back to the brush that we used for the color Zulu, I'm gonna use that to blend Birkina and this sort of deep mauve purple shade together because we don't want anything too crazy. We just wanted our crease a little bit more defined. I believe that is a pretty good I'd say that's a pretty good place to be at the moment. So hear me out. I know this is meant to be like a no makeup makeup look, but at the end of the day, we're putting on makeup, right? So I'm thinking I mean what I normally do is I just go in with like the closest colour to like my lid colour but shimmery and then I use that right on my lid no cut crease no nothing just simply just place it on because you've left the gap you've only been blending crease and above so don't judge me I can I can sense the judgment already but you just <laughs> my light okay it's my light I'm gonna go for Casablanca and blend that in with this gold shade if you want the brush that you used for your to clean up your eyebrows it will probably still have concealer on it you can then use that to apply the eyeshadow just to make it slightly more pigmented but that's up to you I'm not gonna do that because we don't want to be too crazy you now we don't want to go crazy or you can wet the brush that's probably a better idea some people use fix plus but those people are rich so I'm literally gonna place it start low down so you sort of start low down and you blend it towards the edge not right towards the edge of your eye but from the inner corner out don't go near the crease we don't want no shimmer crease My eyes tend to look a bit small sometimes, especially when I smile like this. So I normally take a black eyeliner and just very thinly go over, go on the top of my lash line, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a pencil brush. It is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and it comes with a smudger thing on the end which you don't have to use, it's completely up to you but I'm just going to see how I feel. Someone said something outside and it distracted me and now there's eyeliner on my lid. And then go for the smudger at the end and just blur that out a little bit. Nothing too crazy, it's just gonna help to make your water eye. My water eye? It's <sighs> just gonna help you to make your lash line look slightly fuller. Cause we're not going full force, we're just trying to make what we already have look a little bit more, you know, you, you don't know. Um, Defined. I, I already said that. That's all right. So now that is pretty much your eyes done until we do the bottom lash line, but that'll be after we've done all our face stuff. So I'm gonna grab my foundation. 
which I use the Max Factor Radiant Lift. Ooh, has SPF 30, did not know that. Make a sun protection, girl. And I'm in the shade Tawny. Normally I'm in between shades throughout the year, but since it's quarantine and I've not been leaving the house, I'm, at the moment, I'm Tawny. So, <laughs> hey, my name is Tawny. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> I said that a long time ago and here I still am. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I just grab a flat, sort of stippling foundation brush. This feels kind of weird. I have not done makeup for a while. It's been a hot minute. I'm gonna take the brush and blend her up. I'm gonna start with my forehead. More like five head. remember to blend it in between the brows just to sort of cover up all the places where you did the correcting earlier. This is really really strange. I have not done this for so long. Wow, look, and even skin tone. <laughs> Who does she think she is? Now I'm gonna grab my concealer again. I can get like a little bit. Like I said, it's the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn, and I'm going to use that to highlight my under eye. Um, I don't really put concealer anywhere else because um, I think we're already putting the concealer up here when trying to correct my eyebrows. It's already done a bit of highlighting there, and you don't really want anything else really highlighted that prominently if it's a no makeup makeup look. You want to look glowy but not too glowy. Now a good pro tip that I got from Jackie Ina, basically the consistency of the liquid you've just put on your face will dry out. Um, the longer you leave it and it also will help build coverage um, so I normally just leave it for a couple of seconds and usually in that time I use it to go wet my beauty blender but I've already done that so I'm just gonna do this <sighs> so grab this I'm gonna blend She looks awake. She looks awake. Now that is done, I'm going to grab my W7 Banana Dreams loose powder, and this is just what I use to set. Should I open it up without trying to get it everywhere because I always do that? Lovely. And then I just take the flat end of my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just tap it in. And then go straight under my eye and pack it on. Now when I do this, I'm not exactly baking, um, but I do leave it on there a little bit longer than everything else. And then go down front of my nose. And then I just kind of use the residue of whatever's left to set the rest of my face, especially if I'm not going to be wearing this for long. Um, I find that it stays pretty well because we've not put a lot on so far, so. So now I'm just going to blend out the under eye bit. And then also blend out the bit under the jaw. Now I grab my Real Techniques sculpting brush. Wait, do they all say the names? <gasps> 
this was the deluxe crease brush oh it's so dainty the way they do it oh my god that was so long ago you don't care anymore but this is the sculpting brush i remembered that from when i bought it ages ago but i didn't realize i actually said it oh, i love that guys <laughs> stop it now come on sam nikki is that are those their names yeah, Sam and Nick. Come on, guys. Then I grabbed the Sleek um, Face Contour Kit um, in dark. And you've got a little highlighter and a little contour powder. And I just pack it on a little bit. Has a little bit of a reddish undertone. But we move anyways, even though I'm a little bit more golden, but golden to neutral, I would say. And we're just gonna put that in the hollow of the cheeks that I don't have. So we're gonna create that. Just that at an angle. And I do the same on the other side. And then I also pop a little bit on my five head just to try and narrow her down a little bit and across the arch at the top and then I blend this upwards blend it down and up in and up and then whatever's excess I then drag that across my many many chins because it's been quarantine season and we've not been getting the exercise that we need outdoors okay who am i kidding i've not been out in like many many days and okay i've been eating a lot no let me live let me live my phone just tried to die on me we don't we don't need that okay i guess we're just gonna have to brush now we are going to go to blush my saharan blush palette um from juvia's place volume one um and we're gonna go for the shade we're gonna blend neo and toby with these two middle shapes we're gonna grab that and for that we just need a big fluffy brush we're gonna use this guy for a little bit more precision just a little bit and yeah just kind of tap into both back and forth we'll need a mirror and just dust that smart though your heart is breaking oh I, I knew i was gonna do that i knew i was gonna beautiful next i'm gonna take a fan brush Ooh, this one is just from new look and i am going to use zara in as a palette um, to highlight the height of my cheekbones. Now we're going for a little bit more of a subtle glow because, like I said, your skin but better. We're not trying to blind anybody out here, but uh, if you go ahead and do that, I'm, I'm not going to say nothing. And then I like to then bring that to my Cupid's <laughs> Oh my god, it was so amusing. Then next, I'm going to grab the accent brush. And I'm going to dip into Zara and put that in the inner corner of my eye. It's, the thing is, it's a very similar shade to what is on my eyelid, so you just kind of blend to it together so it doesn't look too obvious don't want anything too blinding or too in your face then i am going to go for a small version of the pencil brush that we used earlier and that is what we are going to use to do our bottom lash line zulu once again and let her be our bottom lash do you want to do you want to know my stomach has been making all the noises. Lovely. It's coming together. She doesn't look totally terrible. <laughs> right, next. Brow gel. Right, yes. I'm just gonna use that and brush through the hairs at the front. And they pull the rest 
down as well. Define those hairs at the front and then lay and put them down. And by everything, I mean nothing because I have no brows without makeup. Next, we're going to do mascara and lips and then we're done. And lately, I've been obsessed with my new mascara and it is the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara. Can't believe I have not been using this and oh, it has that satisfying click when you close it. It just, oh, just, yes. And I just work it through until I'm happy with how my lashes are laying. Oh my god, it makes such a massive difference. I haven't worn this cover in so long. And then next we have lips and then we are done. So my lips are a brown color and then they ombre into pink and I'm basically gonna replicate that. If you didn't know, now you do. Every brown girl's best friend is a lip liner is an eyebrow pencil. Or at least mine is. So I grab the MUA. Right. In the color brunette. The eyebrow pencil. And I'm just gonna use that to line my lips. And I always start with the Cupid's bow first because it's the most precise bit to do. And I grab this mini Kat Von D liquid lipstick that I've had for a really, really long time. Um, yeah, and it's in the shade Lolita number no. two, which is pretty similar to what I'm going for. And I'm just gonna pop that in the space of the actual pink of my lips and then blend it in with my lip. I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you. And then believe it or not, we're done. We got there in the end. This has been utter stress because I've not done this for a really, really long time. I don't even know where to look right now. If you could see the setup, you would, it's laughable. But we got here in the end, yes. Um, so yeah, the no makeup, I guess, but makeup look perfect for when you want to look like you're not really wearing any makeup but you're, but you're definitely on um this is it thanks for sticking around not really sure why but thanks for doing it anyways please like subscribe leave some comments non-hateful down the bottom make some friends do whatever you want just do the quickly quackity down there all right do, yeah 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 Yep. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. My phone is telling me all the things. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe during this period. Um, and peace.